Here's three examples of when you should not use a continental grip on your volleys. The first is if you're trying to hit a short wide angle on your forehand side, you actually wanna rotate your hand past continental so that you can get your paddle at the angle that you're looking to create. So I'm going past continental and see how sharp of an angle I can get because I angled my paddle there before I made contact with the ball. It's not gonna be possible to get as good of an angle with a continental grip unless I swing, which is also risky. Another example, if the ball comes low to my backhand side, a continental grip doesn't allow me to open the face of my paddle very much without bending my wrist. So I actually wanna change my grip, make my wrist more relaxed. I have a more desirable paddle angle to make that ball over the net. So I'm rotating my grip as I see that incoming ball is very low. I can lift that over the net very easily versus if I do that with a continental grip, I'm often gonna have the wrong paddle angle because I'm having to bend my wrist to get it open, which is uncomfortable. Another example is when that ball is high and in front of you and you're going to play a forehand, this is not a good time to use a continental grip either because it creates an awkward wrist position trying to reach out here with a continental grip versus letting my hand spin closer to the forehand grip. So again, if I try to play the continental grip, it's really awkward when I'm making contact high and out in front. Instead, if I let my hand spin, it's really easy to get a lot of power and it's a very comfortable wrist position. So notice that I'm making that grip change as I'm moving to the ball once I realize that it's gonna be high and out in front of me with my contact point. So I can think of more examples where you wouldn't want to use a continental grip on your volleys. Today I just showed you three, but the main thing is that you're not set in stone with just using one grip all the time.